Hello, hi, and welcome to my wicked lady slash whatever you call her. We're building a lady in this tutorial. As always, we're using wigs from Epic Cosplay Wigs. I'm using Gaia in Fusion Vanilla Pink as the base wig. Then I'll be using Asteria in the same Fusion Vanilla Pink for the pigtail length. And take a look at how long this wig is. It's so long. I also really love this vanilla pink color. It's a mixed tone and it's really, really pretty. It also works really well for Zero Two for any Darling in the Franks cosplayers out there. To begin with one of the longest wig builds of my life, we're starting with the base. Like a good house, you cannot have a cool building without a stable foundation. Here I am cutting the bangs and other hair that won't be up in the pigtails or made into odongo buns to best fit my face. Base wigs for Sailor Moon wigs or any other character with hair like Sailor Moon or the evil chibi are are weird. So be sure when you're styling it that the line where the bangs start and the hair styled up into the pigtail start that it hits your hairline so the wig will fit you properly later. Now the base wig is on Jonathan, the best liberal candidate running for office in the US right now and the most interesting wig head online. I'm piercing Jonathan's skull with T-pins to secure the wig before I style the pigtails to the height I want them. I'll be putting the Odongo buns on top of these pigtails, so be sure that they are the height you want for your buns to be later. The base is on me for final looks. I like where the pigtails are. The base is back on Jonathan, where I hairspray the base where the pigtails are to keep any stray hairs not stray. Now I'm securing the heck out of these pigtails by tying more hair ties on them, but I'm careful to tie them off so that I can take them down whenever I need to restyle the wig. Next, we are continuing with the pigtails. I bet you thought we were done tying them off. Wrong. I'm tying off the section that I want to cut off the excess hair for. But, you know, later on, I cut it all down to a nub, so this is all pretty redundant. When both sides are sectioned off, I cut off the excess hair. Finish that redundancy off with some more hairspray.
Let's make some buns, Odongo buns to be specific. I'm using these foam cones as a base. They aren't in the shape I want, so using sandpaper, I'm sanding them down to the shape I want. Off screen, I measured the cones to my wig and figured out how tall I want them. So I marked where I need to cut off the excess and sanded it down to a more rounded shape. To get these buns in the metaphoric oven, I need to hollow out a hole and put them over my pigtail nubs. In order to achieve this, I am making a pretty sizable hole in the middle of the cones and sanding it down. I highly recommend the sanding method for it allows more control on how hollow you make your buns. As you go, make sure to test them out on your base wig to ensure they fit. In order to sand out the middle, I roll up a piece of sandpaper and twist the cone around it. Back to Jonathan and the base wig, I am cutting off my redundancy and doing the final sizing of my buns on the base wig. I like it. If it's very snugly, that is the goal here. We still aren't done with these buns. We need to reinforce them and prepare them for the other metaphorical oven, which is wrapping wig hair around them. To do that, I'm going to cover them in some pink fabric that closely matches the color of my wig. This is so that the glue doesn't erode the foam and it gives it more durability. Be sure to let them dry completely when gluing the fabric to it.
To not only wrap our buns and make super long pigtails, we are cutting into the super long wig. I've cut off the bottom section of it and are taking sections off to then wrap around the foam bases. Originally, I tried to wrap smaller pieces of wig fibers from the leftover pigtails on the base wig, but that was really difficult and a huge hassle. Doing it this way saved me a lot of time and ended up looking much nicer in the end. When you use the longer fibers, it's a lot easier to gradually glue them together using one long piece of hair than making a lot of smaller pieces of hair work together. This method works best for Twicked Lady, and it may work for other buns like Usagi's. As you go, let it dry in increments and pin down what you need with either sewing pins or clothes pins. Also for the glue, please use your favorite clear drying glue, mine's tacky glue. Once that's all done, let those buns rise to double their size or until the glue has dried and that has turned into a very nice rhyme. And labor intensively apply a lot of tacky glue to your buns following the flow of the wig fibers. Also, clean your workspace as you work. Don't be messy. We do not promote messy cosplayers here. I mean, if you're messy, that's okay, but you know, like my OCD goes up the wall, so I gotta clean it. I go, okay, no one cares about this. Now to build the pigtails! Lady, as well as Chibi Usa's hair, is really thick at the start of the length of her pigtails, then it gets gradually thinner. I want to recreate that look by taking part of the base wig, namely the top part of the crown of the head, and layer it with other wefts from the wig. I wrap them together, then sew them into place to make one hair piece. I attach a hair tie to the pigtail extension so I can attach it more easily to the base wig later on.
With all of our accessories done, we can present them to Jonathan as an offering. To properly offer these meager labors of love, tie the pigtails to your nub bases. Be sure they're on tight. I'm talking Elizabeth Swan's corset in the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie tight. If those pigtails get proposed to, they better fall off a military fort in a Caribbean cliffside and be saved by the worst pirate you've ever heard of. Pigtails on, let's cut in the bangs. Evil Chibi Usa has her mama's thick ass 90 hair, and that is no exception to her bangs. To get this look, I'm shaping up the bangs by adding in layers. I'm sorry my stupid camera keeps going in and out of focus. Join my Patreon so I can save up for a smarter camera. To get that 90s floof, I'm hairspraying the bangs, back combing and letting them dry, then I'm combing them out with a barrel brush. Then I'm curling them with a flat iron, be sure to curl them inwards because that's how her hair is styled in the show and manga. She also has longer curly parts in her bangs, which are like fancy sideburns, I guess. To make them fancy, I'm heating up the fibers and wrapping them around the dowel object. My dowel object is a Sharpie pen. Final touches on the bangs, making sure we have her signature middle part. Now we are curling the ends of the long ass pigtails. These pigtails are 50 inches long. 50 inches. I can't even name anything that's 50 inches other than large pieces of furniture. To get the end curls, I am doing the same method as the fancy sideburns on a much larger scale. My dowel object for this is my barrel brush. When I'm done, I twist the entire pigtail like a pretzel and wrap it around the base. This is a great way to keep the curl of the length when you're storing this wig. Just saying. I do this for my Usagi slash Sailor Moon wig and I've never had to restyle the curls yet. It even holds up for brushings in my experience. In the back of the wig, there's these baby hairs, which are there to hide your nasty, not perfect anime hair. I'm just trimming them up to make them look more natural. Attach the Odongos and you are done. Three days of intensive labor later and you're finally done. Just kidding. Put that thing on your head and make sure it's as Gucci as a pro hero before saying you're done with this. <laughs> Be sure to do any touch-ups and adjust the wig as needed for your face or just lip sync to some K-pop because you've worked hard on this wig. You deserve to pretend you're in Blackpink for five seconds. Then you're actually done. <laughs> Thank you so much to Epic Cosplay Wigs for sponsoring, and thank you guys. Without you, I wouldn't be able to collaborate with great companies like them. I had a lot of fun building this wig, but man, it was a long 
tiresome process. So if you guys use this tutorial, please tag me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or whatever social media it is you are using because I would love to be able to see how this turned out for you. Let me know what other wigs you want to see me style in the future and all the information for this tutorial in specific is down in the description below. Thank you guys so much again and bye!